A tree on the verge of extinction in Singapore is the inspiration for a Thai artist's installation at this year's Singapore Biennale. And another is hoping to use her paintings to prevent her culture and history becoming extinct. Now, these artists from Thailand will be making their mark at the Singapore Biennale for the first time. Our senior correspondent for Indochina, Mei Wong, reports. To some, this may just be dirt. To Rangsak Anuwat Bimon, this is life and history. The artist had collected the soil from where the Hopea Sangal tree once stood in Singapore. He had traced the history of the tree and travelled to Singapore to locate the site where it had been felled to make way for development. To breathe life into his art, Rangsak will add the soil to clay which will be moulded into more than 20,000 leaves. The original 150-year-old Hopea Sangal, a critically endangered tree, was cut down in 2002. The extinction is make people realize how further of the ecology come together. So if people don't care about that, how we can go to the future? We need to cooperation more and more. We not live alone. We not can be exist alone. You can see this in many type of the history. If People go alone, it's not ending well. So we need to be more uh, collaboration. In today's world, where the environment is compromised for the sake of development, Rangsak's work is an apt and timely reminder. Rangsak's work highlights something very important and urgent in our contemporary times. That is when we humans pursue development, we often do it at all costs. To us, it may seem that the removal of a tree is just the removal of a tree for the building of a road. But I think Ruang Suk's project highlights how the tree is oftentimes part of an interconnected network of beings. And the removal of a single tree is the removal of a home for many other beings who share this earth together with us. Another artist trying to create an impact is Bu Si Ajo from the little-known Aka tribe. This ethnic group lives in countries like Thailand, Myanmar and Laos. It's believed there are fewer than a million Aka today. Now, art can often be described as something that's extremely personal. And for Busu over here, that's exactly it. Because what she's trying to do is to tell a story about her life, about her own Aka indigenous tribe. And she says that coming up with the images really comes naturally to her because she's so energized about this project. For artists like Busu, the Singapore Benelli is really an opportunity for lesser known artists to showcase their work and also to inform and educate the visitors about some of the art that many may not be familiar with. Unfortunately, Boos is not likely to be able to travel to Singapore to present her work. Like many such ethnic people, Boos is considered stateless because she doesn't have official identification. Although disappointed she won't be in Singapore, she hopes her message through her art will resonate among visitors. เขาก็ได้รู้จักอ่าประวัติศาสตร์ของคุณอาคายเนี่ยค่ะเขาจะได้รู้จักอืมเกี่ยวกับคนอาคาอ๋อมีอย่างงี้เหรออะไรอย่
Southeast Asia try to question the way that Southeast Asia is being constructed. Aside from paintings, Busa has also constructed this installation, one of the largest to be displayed at the Singapore Benale this year. The carved wood spiritual gate is unique to the Akka tribe. It features various sculptures representing guardians against evil. Such gates have long disappeared from many of the villages. But hopefully stories of various ethnic communities and identities will not fade away as quickly. Mei Wong, CNA, Chiang Rai.